Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Nicola and today I'm going to be talking about 15 signs of spiritual awakening and ascension. The first sign of spiritual awakening is flu-like symptoms. Now this can be coughing, sneezing, sore throat, runny nose, all of the above. It can be very confusing to know if they're actually ascension symptoms or if you're coming down with something. So if you're concerned, please go and see a practitioner so that you know you don't have the old corona. Number two, exhaustion. Wow, this one is really powerful because it literally can knock you on your butt. It is so <laughs> intense sometimes. So what I would say is it is completely normal. Literally everyone, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone who goes through an intense awakening and doesn't feel absolutely exhausted. What you can do is just bed rest, look after yourself, eat healthy, drink lots of water, all of the normal nurturing things and just wait. I promise you it will go away if you honor your body, honor your soul, honor your needs. Don't try and push through it because it will knock you flat on your butt even more and then you'll be worse off than you were before. Number three, feeling like something is changing deep inside of you. This is a very intuitive one because it allows you to feel and know that something is really shifting deep, deep, deep within your soul. Not just in your body and mind, but literally on a soul level. You might feel like something is shifting inside of you, something is moving, something is coming up to be dealt with, or you might just feel like you're on the verge of something and all of that is completely normal. It's actually super powerful and exciting, I think because then you know what's going on, you know what's happening, and you know that your ascension is for your higher good. Number four, dizzy or lightheaded. Now this is a very common one, and I find it especially for women. When I'm going through an ascension or a spiritual awakening, I feel really dizzy, really lightheaded whenever I get up from a seated or a lying position, especially if my feet have been up. Now this is a little bit normal for me, but it happens more frequently when I'm in an ascension moment or a moment of awakening and i know that there's a lot of other people who experience this so if this is happening to you don't panic it's going to be okay it will pass and it's just your body integrating the new energies and vibrations in your body number five over energized but tired i like to call this wired it's like being absolutely exhausted but so alive at the same time and it can be really hard to know which one you need to honor so I would say just go moment to moment, whichever one feels stronger, honor that one. If you feel like you can get up and do some stuff, be productive, all of those fun things, then go and do that. But if you feel like you need to rest and really take care of that exhaustion, do that as well. You need to honor your body, honor your soul, honor your needs and really flow with that. Number six, vivid dreams. I actually have another video on this if you want a more in-depth explanation i'll link it here but basically vivid dreams are your angels and guides trying to contact you it's also your body and your mind processing old traumas and emotions that are coming up for them to be processed and let go of so that you can integrate the new so that you can do the swap from old to new and really um, raise your vibration and integrate those new energies. Number seven, needing nature and downtime. This is so important, not just when you're ascending, but in everyday life for light workers and sensitive empaths, everyone who is in tune with the energy. Mother nature is one of the most powerful sources of energy. It is infinite and it is always available to us. If you're spending time in nature, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel calmer, you're going to feel more grounded and you're going to feel better. If you open yourself up to those energies, you can tap into them and allow them to come into you and allow them to integrate into your energy field, raising your vibration and feeling more at one with yourself, but also the world around you. And downtime is really important as well because you need time for those energies to integrate. You need time to process what is going on for you. And I can't recommend downtime enough when you're going through awakening. Number eight, anxiety. This one's really hard because if you have struggled with mental illness in the past, it can be scary to go back there. Anxiety happens because we are exposed to these new high vibe frequencies, these new vibrations that are coming into our field and our body and mind doesn't really know what they are because we've never experienced them before. So what happens is we instigate the fight or flight response, which is a natural response to things that we don't know or that we've never come across or that we fear. And that is a really normal response. 
and it's one that you just have to kind of deal with because it's your body doing its job you just have to keep grounding yourself doing all the things that you do for your anxiety meditation mindfulness all of the beautiful things like that really nurturing yourself and trying to be gentle with yourself this will pass i promise it does go away but in the moment it can be very very intense and very strong so just be patient trust that it's working for your higher good and yeah love yourself Number nine, needing to nurture. This kind of goes in with all of the points because it is really important. You just have to nurture yourself through this. It is a huge upgrade, a huge massive thing that happens probably a couple of times in your life. And it is something that you can't just keep going on with your daily life through. Like it is life changing. It is soul changing. It's everything changing. Everything in your life changes with this. Your, perspe your perspective and your perception of the world and yourself will change. So it is life altering, which means you have to be super gentle with yourself. You have to really take care of yourself. You have to give yourself all of the love that you normally give to other people. And yeah, put on the warm socks, put on the big fluffy socks and massive jumper. Even if it's the middle of summer, turn on your fan and do it because that feeling, those senses, those beautiful warm cups of tea, soup, all of those beautiful things, eating healthy, um, are really nurturing for your whole being and it really helps you process on a better level, like a deeper level and also probably faster as well. So it's really gonna help you if you, if you surrender to this rather than trying to fight it. Number 10, feeling lost or impatient. Oh. I know this one very well. You get to a point and you're like, oh, okay, when will this end? I'm very anxious, I'm over-energized, I'm just feeling blur and exhausted all of the time. I just want this to be over. And it will be over one day, but you have to be patient because everyone's journey is slightly different. You have your own timeline. You have to honor your own timeline. Just because it happened for someone else one way doesn't mean that it's gonna happen for you the same way. So. Please be patient, just trust that it's for your higher good and really nurture yourself. Number 11, this one's my favorite because it really means that you're starting to integrate those new energies. You start seeing signs such as repetitive numbers, um, animals or other things that are occurring in your life. Basically, it can be happening all the time but when you start to notice it, that's when you know that you're, that you're awakening and you're ascending into a new realm. This is when your this is how your angels and guides contact you and really send you those important messages about your life, about your soul purpose, about where you are in your journey and the lessons that you need to learn. So if you're noticing these and you're not really sure what they mean, just go and do a quick Google. There's millions of resources online telling you what each number means, telling you what all of the spirit animals are, telling you what different dreams or interpretations of life events mean. Just trust that it is someone trying to contact you and really flow with it. It's an exciting time. Number 12, feeling like you're not quite in this world. I have this quite a bit. It's like a disconnect between your inner world and the outer world. For me, it feels like a shield of intensive, dense energy and I can't quite feel like I'm part of the outside world. So it's like being stuck inside your body but also knowing that there's a world out there but you can't quite experience it the same way. It's just a feeling of disconnect and it does pass. It's just your body trying to integrate these new energies and ways of being and sometimes that happens in a bit of a strange way. <laughs> so just trust that it's happening for your higher good and it will pass, I promise, as you integrate and really come to be with one with your new frequencies. Number 13, lucky 13, is purging. Ooh. This one is very intense sometimes. If you feel like you're going to the toilet a million more times a day, if you feel like your breath is quite bad, if you feel like you're sweating more, all of those things are your body getting rid of those old things that no longer serve you, those low vibe emotions, low vibe events, low vibe frequencies, so that you can then integrate your higher vibe frequencies and the things that are going to serve you moving forward. It's just your body's way of eliminating waste. So any way that your body eliminates waste usually can be used to eliminate the things that no longer serve you spiritually. So just trust and flow with it. I mean, you don't really have a choice, so. <laughs>
Number 14 is nausea. Oh, this one, not fun. But it is also similar to the other one, similar to a lot of these, is it's just your body integrating the new frequencies and the new ways of being. Um, nausea is just like the insides of your body percolating and kind of like integrating and sorting out what's what's needed and what's not and what's good and what's not serving you anymore. Just trust that it will it will pass and it's very normal. And number 15, last but not least, I love this one. It's lights flashing when you close your eyes. So it doesn't have to be lights flashing. It can be you hearing things, seeing things, smelling things, tasting things that you couldn't before, that you know are from a different realm or some kind of message coming towards you. For me, it happens as when I close my eyes, it's like a strobe light going off or I see different colored little orbs, which are little little tiny things of light coming towards me and moving around and I know that that's my angels and guides trying to contact me and it's really exciting because that's when you know that you've kind of leveled up or you've um, hit that new frequency and that you're starting to integrate those new things that are coming in through your awakening. It is a really exciting time and yeah just be really grateful for it because it's super powerful and really I just love it. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you understand your spiritual awakening symptoms. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. It helps me grow my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.